Hello and welcome. Today I'll be giving you a quick demo of Tablet Waiter. We have set up four tablets here to demonstrate the four modes of Tablet Waiter in a restaurant. From the left we have the kitchen mode. And then we have customer mode which is set to table number 52. We also have the cashier mode and the waiter mode. We also have the kitchen and the cashier mode up there in browser form. So this gives the restaurant an alternative way of using the app on a browser instead of on a tablet. To begin using Tablet Waiter, you have to set up your menu on the Tablet Waiter website. After setting up your menu, you then link your app to your account. All that will be explained in another video. For this session, I'll be showing you a demo of the ordering system. How it works. A customer places an order, the order goes into the kitchen and then the cashier system then processes the order. Here is a quick demo of this feature. To begin with, um, we will start off by saying a customer comes into a restaurant, is seated on table number 52. The waiter then decides to take the customer's first order. So how you would do that is we've got table, you choose your table, which is 52, which the customer is sitting on. You go into my order to see the customer has not got any order at the moment. So we go into menu and let's say specials, spaghetti. Oh, sorry. I've put the wrong picture. Uh, let's look for an item that has got a matching picture with the name. <laughs> Okay, I would just say shrimp. Add to basket, view order, place order. So now, as you can see here, the order number is 103. The order is shrimp. Status is waiting. And now this should show up on the cashier mode. So now that a new order has come through for that table, we have a new item in the cashier mode on the order number 103. And also we should see the same in the kitchen mode. We've got kitchen mode the shrimp which was just ordered has showed up there and if we go to oh, let's see if the options available on the website would be start and when the customers when the kitchen staff start making the item they click on start to inform the customer that the order has started so now let's go back into cashier mode in the app. So cashier mode is showing the same order as well. So that's table number 52. And we have the total in there and the options available to the cashier are displayed in here. Now if we go into the customer mode And we go to open my orders. Here we see the customer's order displayed in there, which is the shrimp. Okay, so now if we go into the kitchen mode on, let's use the website, and we say we've, oh, sorry, 
we go into the kitchen mode and we start the item there is a kitchen mode we say start and we're going back into the customer mode we should it takes up to 20 seconds sometimes before it updates the customer's account so while we wait for that to happen um, as you can see on the website so when you click on start the next option is ready which is pressed when the item is ready and if we go back to the customer mode you see it's the status has changed to started and if we look at the kitchen mode app it displays the same thing as the website so we have the option for ready so now let's say the item is ready on the app okay so now the item has disappeared it's moved on to the completed list it's probably yeah, the last item in the completed list which is the shrimp and table number 52 and if we go back to the waiter mode we see that it's ready and we also see the flashing light for calls and here are the available calls so we've seen um, the first call is saying table number 52 the battery is low I uh, don't know if you can make it out there. So once the battery goes on the 20%, it sends an alert to the waiter saying battery is low. And then with the next call we have in the waiter mode is saying table number 52, order is ready. This alerts the waiter to bring the food to the customer. Now when the customer has finished eating, and it's ready to pay the customer has these options on the my order page which is request bill or pay by PayPal which is another option so we're gonna request the bill and it's calling the waiter and it says your bill has been requested and if we go into if we go into the cashier mode we can mark it as paid or we can also cancel the item or print out a receipt or offer a discount um, in this case let's try offering a discount of should we say a fixed discount of two pounds Oh, I've done zero two. Fixed discount of two pounds. And it should apply the discount. As you can see in there, there is a discount. And now in the customer part, I'm not sure if you can see it properly. There's a discount of minus two pounds. And now we can mark the item as paid when the customer pays for it. And that automatically takes the item off. And if we look at the cashier mode on the browser, it's gone. The kitchen mode is disappeared. And if we wait for the customer mode, it should clear off after within 30 seconds of them receiving the money and then that order number is closed and it's ready for the next customer to come over and place an order. So um, I think I believe this is the end of our demo. Um, check back later for more videos. Thank you.